My name is Kaisa Ekesiekman. I'm a Swedish author and journalist, and I've written about issues such as trafficking, surrogacy, capitalist crisis, and the euro crisis. And I am going to participate tonight in a seminar called um, Time to Get Serious, How to Crush uh, Capitalism and uh, the Far Right with One Blow. The media discussion on why the far right is rising and the function of the far right is erroneous because the media and also the dominant parties have been focusing on this as a kind of ideological populist movement, even explaining it with psychological reasons. Whereas from a Marxist perspective, as I have, uh, the function of the far right is to maintain the dominance of capital. And this is true for Sweden because if you see the big debate we've had in the recent years is uh, the privatization of healthcare and of welfare systems, where we have one of the most neoliberal systems in the world, even more than Chile right now, where schools, for example, can be run by private equity companies. And this was about to be abolished. This could have been abolished if it wasn't for the far right that came into parliament taking basically the voters of the old social democrats, of left wing, even of right wing, and were very um, lobbied by capitalist uh, organizations into accepting uh, private um, companies in welfare state, meaning that because of their presence, they were, they were able to keep this, which basically nobody in Sweden wants. So I think in part, it's the same idea as in the 30s, where you have um, basically capital speaking a new language, speaking a populist language, uh, speaking with a voice of the people. Even you can see this in the case of Don Donald Trump. But really the point is to maintain the dominance of capital over workers. And also one basic function that the far right has in my country, Sweden, is to pit workers against each other. Newly arrived workers uh, against workers who have been here for a longer time or who are born here. So we don't unite against the capitalist class. Um, the left should become populist, in my, uh, in my idea. Uh, the left should not be so troubled as it is now. I think the basic ideas, the politics of the left uh, are, are good. You know, they're, they're not bad as such, but the problem is the left appears every day more and more troubled um, and, and has a lot of the time uh, gone into cultural struggles instead of focusing on the main challenges that every country faces. In Sweden, the main challenges right now are, of course, housing, because we have a big housing problem that nobody's taking care of. There's shortage of housing. There is the debt bubble that's growing every day. There is unemployment that we used to have 1% in the 80s, stabilizing now at 8%. Um, there is segregation. There is crime. And all that needs to be dealt with. And the only way you can deal with that is using the welfare state and taking control again of society which has been left to neoliberal forces um, but I think that the death of the left is starting to get into all these cultural questions and trying to approach the extreme right in uh, in the way of ideas speaking of ideas because that will never work you need to get down to basic to what unites people and what unites most people is that we're all uh, wage earners most of us, 90% of Swedes are wage earners so we need to focus on those questions and have a progressive politics in the cultural questions but not talk about them so much you know rhetoric needs to be focused on the main important issues otherwise you're never going to get all these people back